Yes, friends, and welcome back to my channel, The Four Seasons of Vietnam. Okay, sa suot kong ito, can you guess anong season ito? Yes, right, summer. Summer na naman. Ano, si winter, si summer, si spring, mga aso ko yan. Nandito na po tayo sa summer. Okay, summer in Vietnam starts from May to September. September ang haba. Sino ang May, June, July, August, September. Limang buwan ang summer nila, my friends. Okay, at alam ba ninyo na ang summer nila ay mas mainit pa kaysa sa atin? Oh, no. so, sobrang init nila dito. Okay, malamig sila, but kung sila naman ay mainit, napakainit po. Parang may baga dito sa ulo mo habang ikaw naglalakad sa ano? Nasa sa labas. Okay, so usually Vietnamese are wearing this. They're wearing cap and just t-shirt. But my friend, in my case, hindi ako sanay sa ganyang ano, naka-expose ang skin ko. I have to wear a cardigan. Ito my friend. Okay, so yan. Okay, so yun yung ano, yung summer attire ko dito. Yan. Okay, so I can go out and wearing this cardigan, okay lang sa akin na nakalabas. Pag lumabas na, nakawear ng cardigan, okay, that's fine with me. But just wearing a shirt or a sleeveless, my friend, during summer nila, oh no, napakainit. Umabot sila ng 40, 41, 42 degrees Celsius, my friend. Oh gosh, ang init. Okay, so that's between I mean May to September, limang buwan ang og ang ano nila ang summer nila dito. Ang pinakamainit that would be on August and September. Yun yung pinakamainit nila. Siguro sabi nila sabi ng mga Vietnamese, pwede daw magdala ka na ng egg and you will put it under the ground. Maluluto daw siya because sobrang init dito. And sila din mismo yung mga Vietnamese nagtatan din sila during summer time because it's their family time. It's the bonding of their family. They usually go out for beach and nagsisinig sila. Yan, dyan tayo lamang. Kasi nanginitin din sila. And with us, ngayon ko sa ayaw ko sa daga. Well, stay on skin ko, whatever seasons dito. Kasi hindi ako naliligo sa daga. Pero sila, they're enjoying so much with the beach. Nagano talaga sila. Kaya they always have time with their families and family bonding. Nagsisinig sila. So medyo, manitinitin na rin sila during sa summer time. Okay? So you will really know who among them, like me, if I'm standing in front of my class, nakikita ko yun kung sino nag-outing sa kanila kasi ang pula-pula ng mga piece nila at medyo nagtatanan yung skin nila. Okay? So, of course, pag lumabas sila during during summertime, nakasleeveless lang sila or naka-t-shirt. Wait a minute! Yes, friends, we are back in the life of Miss Jean here in Vietnam. Nakita ang ako ang Koli Koli H. Okay. Now, <laughs> The last season that I'm going to tell you is the fall, or another word for fall is the autumn. Okay? Autumn is on the month of November nila dito. Okay? Autumn dito, my friend, is humid. Yung bang pawis-pawisan tayo, yung, yung we always have sweat sa body natin, yung, yung ganon, yun ang feeling ko dito during fall or during their autumn. Okay? The leaves of the trees here, they will begin to fall. Kaya tinatawag na fall nga. Kasi mga leaves nila, <laughs> nag-ano sila, na, nahuhulog sila. And those trees now with colored leaves, ang gandang tingnan, my friend. Because yung ano nila, paveway, yung pavement nila, o yung walkway, colored siya tingnan dahil sa leaves na nahuhulog. Okay? So in my case here, my friend, because it's fall or maybe it's, it's autumn, Hindi ako kontento na lalabas uli na nakaganito. Sa Vietnamese, they're wearing sleeveless ganito kasi naiinitan sila. Ako my friend, I have to start using it again like this and wear again a cardigan. Alam mo naman di, alam mo na ako my friend, I'm I'm so scared of exposing my skin. That's why at, at the age of 50, medyo smooth skin pa rin tayo. Charot. <laughs> okay, so ganito ang ano, ang attire ko pag ano nila, pag fall nila or autumn but yun nga, sa dito sa Vietnam humid siya, yung mainit siya, pero hindi gaano kainit like the summer here na 40 degrees up 
Okay? Yung ano nila, yung fall or yung autumn nila, is humid lang talaga siya. That's why yung mga tao dito, during summer and fall nila, yung mga bata sa classroom, meron silang mga daladalang elat yung fan nila. Yung battery operated na fan. Okay? At may mga icons pa yan and cartoons. May mga Hello Kitty. Silang lahat meron dyang hawak sa ano nila, sa, sa, sa mga upuan nila. Okay? So, the other hand is for their pencil and the other one is for their fan. Okay, so, ako naman, nakikiuso din sa kanila, of course, meron din ako nun. Okay, kayo lang bang gagamit niyan, di ba? Pero sila, comfortable sila pag naka-sleeveless or naka-t-shirt lang. Okay, ako hindi. I have to cover myself like this. Eto, ganito yung attire ko pag ano siya, pag, pag fall or pag autumn. Okay, so, yun ang apat na seasons dito sa Vietnam. So, I hope you learn something from my discussion for today, okay? Should you have any interesting topics that you want me to discuss here, please drop your comment and please don't use your capital letters. Use it in a small letters in not less than seven letters, okay? We are back and before I will end this segment, the four seasons of Vietnam, let me extend my heartfelt and really from the bottom of my heart, Thank you all so much, subscribers, na lalong dumami at dumami sila. Thank you so much, dear friends, and I hope you enjoy, and I hope you learn something from our discussion for today, the four seasons of Vietnam. Saying goodbye, and thank you all so, so much. Bis dak ni dai, maghatag ninyo o kalipay. Goodbye! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Cebu Philippines. Cebu Philippines, thank you, Opon. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.